It's hard to believe in this uh, day and age of renewable energy and uh, sustainability that thousands and millions of homes and businesses are throwing out a renewable resource every day in the form of food waste and they pay a garbage or a waste disposal company to take that resource away from them. If you install a digester similar to the one behind me here, you can convert that uh, food waste into a renewable fuel in the form of biogas and use it directly in your business or in your house and offset the use of fossil fuels uh, similar to the ones in the, uh, the gas that would be in a cylinder behind me. For every 10 kilos of food waste that you dispose of, um, that food waste can be converted into the equivalent of one kilogram of a compressed gas. And this digester behind me is producing the equivalent of four and a half of these cylinders, uh, about 50 kilograms of compressed gas a year. So in this video I'm going to talk about um, how we bring the biogas that's in the blue bag behind me and what we need to do to use it in our house. Um, and it's very simple to do and easy. Um, so stay watching to find out how we do this. To understand um, how we use the biogas, first of all you have to understand the composition of, of the gas itself. So it's mainly made up of methane and methane can vary between 50 and 80 percent. Carbon dioxide is the next, uh, it varies uh, between 30 and 50 percent and then after that you've trace, uh, you've got uh, small amounts of other gases, hydrogen sulfide um, 0 to 1 percent, hydrogen 0 to 1 percent and then uh, nitrogen and other trace elements. <coughs> Now, uh, hydrogen sulfide can be a problem um, because first, firstly it smells and also it can be very corrosive. So you want to get rid of uh, the hydrogen sulfide and to do this we use a filter. And there's different ways of removing it but the one um, we use um, is an activated carbon filter that you can see here. And that carbon uh, has a very high surface area. Um, and it adsorbs the hydrogen sulfide onto its surface so it removes it and you can see here um, that for the the mygog system at the moment the methane percentage is about 61 percent and usually that can vary between 58 and 65 66 percent this is our five ring gas hob and Three of the rings are converted to biogas and two are still on cylinder gas. So the front, the front two and the middle ring are all on biogas and the back two are on cylinder gas. So this here is um, biogas and you can see it burns the same as, as uh, cylinder gas. Now inside each of these uh, rings you have one of these jets and the jet has a small hole in it, um, so you need to be, make a bigger hole um, to allow more gas through. So this is the cylinder gas and you can see the jet here and you can see the hole is very small. And to make this ring here suitable for biogas, you just, you make a bigger hole um, to allow more gas through. So you can see there the hole is a, li a little bit bigger. To show you visually how much gas is coming through each of these jets, I've put some sudsy water in both of these. So when I turn on the normal gas, you can see it produces some bubbles, but not a huge amount. Now I turn on the biogas and it produces a lot more bubbles. So we light those two of those and we get a bit of a flame there. In this video we showed that food waste is actually a renewable resource that can easily be converted into biogas and that biogas can be used easily on site. So if you like this technology and you would like to help us uh, develop it further please like subscribe and share and uh, hope to see you again next time thanks for watching